a little confused about, we're still talking about minutes, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talking about minutes. I'm still a little confused about, unfortunately, I was un unable to go to the Park and Rec vision meeting, and I had sent Mr. Valentine and the district manager and Luke an email, but I don't know who got it because Shane never responded to me and it was never discussed. But I'm very, very confused about a resident who suggested a an ADA ramp from the pedestrian lane into the panhandle. And I don't ever recall hearing that happen, but then again, I haven't been to all the park and rec commission meetings in the last year. I've been to a few. But is that, is that still on the table, or has, was anything decided? It, it's Where still kind of... You're talking about Clydewood, Walk Street? I'm talking about, at fir first, okay, first of all, four years ago when I was on the pe Park and Rec Committee, I offered to pay $1,500 to put in a handrail. Handrail, handrail, handrail. Everybody was happy because I was gonna pay for it. And then I got bashed at a meeting and I withdrew my 1500 bucks. I still wanted to keep that on the table, but it ended up getting lost from your listing, okay? It was just a simple handrail. Then there was talk about steps, and steps would be horrible for bicyclists and uh, strollers, and now it's ADA ramps. So I, I'm very confused about this, and my letter to Mr. Valentine was asking him to put that on a, a new agenda item at some time in the future. Because once the, um, the old shed maintenance, blah, 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 gets torn down, nobody's gonna be able to walk through the entrance into the panhandle from Miller Creek Road. So they will be using the pedestrian lane from Quietwood into the panhandle. And that's going to be extremely dangerous because of the incline and the buildup of six to ten inches of leaves. So I feel it's very important for safety measures, for liability, for insurance, for whatever, that somebody think about it and talk about it and make a decision. And it seems like for the last four years, every single year I've been going to the panhandle inspection, I've gotten up at the top of the incline and I've said, please, let's put in a handrail and for four years it's gone nowhere. So is anything going to be done there, especially knowing that the entire Panhandle Western End will be blocked off for pedestrians, bicyclists, dog walkers, you know, strollers, whatever, for how many years while the new shed is being built? So I'm confused about it. Do you, was anything, Decided was was any board member at that? We, oh, were you there? I was not able to attend. Was there, there a decision was, made about? I was not able to attend that meeting oh. because I had my back thrown out, so I wasn't able to move that day. But um, it seems like the minutes are the minutes don't really say. And we're talking about the minutes right now, so I think the best would be to follow up with the commission on that. Because I can't, I can't answer a question. All right. I, I, I just want to say one quick thing about that. So it doesn't have to be ADA. Stephen, it's a trail. Stephen, Stephen, you got to filter. There's procedure here. Hey. Okay. Could you call on me, please? Luke wanted to say. Okay. Well, I was just. Well, that's a strong way to put it. But I. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there was Linda. I don't think there was any uh, decisions made at the commission meeting uh, as to putting in uh, handrail steps, paths, it was, a, it was discussed what the different uh, options might be, um, and I think that's about as far as it got. Okay, and, and but I wasn't no, the one who said put a ramp in. Uh, and, sure. and no one was under the impression that you had asked for a ramp, and no one, I don't think, had asked for a ramp. I think there was just, uh, just conversations about different things and whether a ramp would be required if anything was done, whether that would fall under an ADA compliance situation. So it was just a, a conversation and there were no decisions made. No decisions made. Correct. Thank you. Um, so, so anyhow, I, I actually have a friend who specializes in handicap access for parks, and he tells me that you really don't want it to be ADA 
compliant because it, it, it is legal, there are legal issues involved. However, you can follow the, you know, the, the slope requirements and stuff like that. And I, you know, if Linda's talking about it, she's concerned, I, I, I see every day people of, uh, of, of uh, limited mobility down that path. And that's really one of the, the, the greatest things about that path is it's flat and it's accessible. And I really do feel that, especially if we're doing it, we get it basically for free. If Linda is offering it, I don't well, know. Not I, anymore. Not anymore. But <laughs> but it's a it's a very modest investment with with a I think a, a very worthwhile uh, return. So um, I I think you should put it on your agenda. 